is the calculator app on your Windows PC not working? In this video, you will see how to fix Windows calculator not working. Repair and reset the calculator app from settings. The first thing you should try is to repair and then reset the calculator app from the settings. So open the settings. Go to the apps section and here select installed apps. Then search for calculator. Click on this three dot menu icon, then select advanced options. Here under the reset section, click on the repair button. Now check the calculator app. If it is not working, click on the reset button. Now confirm your action. Reinstall the calculator app. If the calculator app isn't working even after repairing and resetting it, you should reinstall the calculator app. To do that, we will open the settings. Then go to the apps, installed apps, search for calculator, click here. Select advanced options. Here scroll down and click on uninstall button. Now confirm your action. Once the calculator app gets uninstalled, you need to install it back. So open the Microsoft Store. Then search for Windows Calculator. Open it and click on the Install button to install it. Now your calculator app should start working. Re-register Windows apps via PowerShell. If the calculator app's still not working, you can try to re-register all Windows apps using PowerShell. Click on the Windows button and search for PowerShell. Right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. Now copy the command from the description, paste it on the PowerShell, and press Enter. After a few seconds, all Windows apps will be re-registered. Now try to open the calculator and Runtime Broker Process. Sometimes the Runtime Broker.exe process causes issues with the calculator app. You can try and end this process. Right-click on the Start menu and select Task Manager. Now here, locate the Runtime Broker process. Select it and click on the End Task button. Now, there could be more instances of Runtime Broker. You need to select them all and end. Now try to open the Calculator app. Run SFC and DISM commands. SFC and DISM commands check your system files and fix them. If your calculator app is not working, it could be due to some corruption in your system files. So let's run it. Click on Start and type CMD. Right click on it and select Run as Administrator. Now in the command prompt, type SFC space forward slash scan now, then hit Enter. The scan will look for problems and applies fixes automatically if it finds any. Once the scan gets completed, close the command prompt and restart your PC. Now check if the calculator is working or not. If not, run the DISM command. Open the command prompt as administrator. Type DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health. Now hit enter. The scan will take some time to finish. Once it is completed, close the command prompt and restart your PC. Create a new user account. Even after following all the fixes, if your calculator app is still not working, the last option you have is to create a new user account. To create a new user account, open settings. Then click on accounts. Here click on Other Users, then click on Add Account. Now follow the instructions to create a new user account on your PC. After that, log in with the new user account. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.